Good morning, CLI. My name is Kimberly Rakes, and I'll be bringing you today's devotion. I'm going to start over in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. It says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, for good works which God prepared beforehand, that we should walk in them. You know, I've been meditating on that scripture for years, and it's overwhelming to think the creator of the universe calls us his workmanship. And, and not only that, further and, and, and deeper than that, he says, you are my workmanship, and I, I in advance have prepared good works that I want you to walk in. But it's important, and this is recently the Lord has just uh, reminded me of this, it's so important that we make sure to be in line with God's plan and purpose for us. You see, sometimes we have these passions or these things that are bubbling up in us, or these things that may be weighing heavy, especially with all that's going on around us, and, and we run with it. And then we're asking God, God, protect me as I go. God, bless me. God, make a way. And he's saying, but before you go, are you asking me what way that you are to walk in? It says over in Proverbs 19, 20 and 21, it says, listen to counsel, receive instruction and accept correction that you may be wise in the time to come. It says many plans are in a man's mind, but it is the Lord's purpose for him that will stand, that will be carried out. All right, so we're to listen to counsel and receive instruction and accept correction. Well, how? Well, of course, we spend time in scripture and in prayer and in just in the presence of God. But it says over in Psalms 32, he says clearly, he says, I'll instruct you. I will teach you in the way that you should go. I will counsel you who are willing to learn with my eye upon you. We have to be willing and desire for him to teach us and and for us to learn from him and for him to counsel us and to show us how and when and what to do in all things, all the time. That's his hope, his plan, and his desire for us. Why? Because we mess things up. Why? Because sometimes we get a, a revelation from God or we feel him speaking to us and we go, all right, hold it right there, God. And then we go and do A, B, and C. And he's sitting there saying, child, I have not told you to go yet. I'm still preparing you. Are there still more revelation I want to give you? Are there still more godly wisdom I need to impart in you, to equip you, and to prepare you? It says over in James 1, if anyone lacks wisdom, he is to ask God and that he who gives to everyone generously and without rebuke or blame, that it will be given to him. He will give us the wisdom that we can walk um, and walk in wisdom and be wise in things that are to come. He will show us and teach us and counsel us so that as his workmanship, the good works that he's said here, I've got these for you, that we can walk in them. We can't do it um, by ass assumption. We can't do it by being powered by our emotions in such a crazy time such as this we have to keep our eyes fixed on him we have to be intentional to say god counsel me teach me show me reveal to me equip me and prepare me for the assignment and the works that you say you've planned for me in advance so i challenge you today go to father god if you need to repent repent of, of attitudes that you know that he hasn't released you to have or he doesn't approve of you having for steps that maybe you took that, that he didn't tell you to take and say, Father, here I am. Guide me, show me, instruct me, lead me. Father, give me godly wisdom and he will do so. I hope you have a blessed day. Goodbye.